Going to be doing a quick review on my uh, PVS-14. I've had this a um, little over a year, maybe a year and a half. It's a Steel Industries PVS-14 Gen 3 White Phosphor. And uh, let's kind of take a look at it. So basically in the box, it uh, pretty much just comes with the unit. And then there was a data sheet underneath and um, I think for export reasons and all ITAR and all that stuff, we can't show the data sheet, which is sad because it's got some pretty good specs. And cap comes off. Uh, this one doesn't have, I mean, it's got a hole for the lantern, but it doesn't have one that's tied to it. it does have the pin hole in it. And it's got this little cap on the back. Didn't come with a rubber eyepiece, which is okay because I wear glasses anyway. And so that would kind of get in the way for me as it is because my mount that I'm using is a Narotos uh, Rhino and it, uh, it it gets pretty snug up against uh, close to my glasses as it is pushed all the way out. So I'm probably going to get a different kind of uh, mount that will push it a little further away from my eye. So basically you've got the diopter here. You just, uh, this will set to whatever your, your eyes are. Since I've got bad eyes, I've got it set to... Uh, I've actually got it set to probably pretty much close to zero because I'm wearing glasses, but if I wasn't, the thing would be dialed up pretty high. Not all the way because it goes higher than my, as bad as my vision is. And then you fine tune your uh, close versus far away from here and just kind of to toy with it till you get it where you want. Uh, if you really get it uh, fine tuned for a far distance, you're going to have trouble reading, you know, looking at stuff within about three feet of you. It's going to be a little fuzzy, but. You're just kind of dialing in from there. Um, this unit also has the uh, manual gain adjustment here for brightness, uh, which really is handy because um, I had to turn it way down when filming with my iPhone. It was it came through really bright, and unfortunately the the the, the phone doesn't do it justice. It's definitely much clearer and crisper to the naked eye than versus uh, going through the phone. It is what it is. So anyway, you've got the you know, hole here where you attach your J-arm and these two contacts right here. Uh, there's little connection points right here. Um, mine doesn't seem to work. Uh, it's probably because this is a surplus uh, J-arm and I got it pretty cheap off of eBay. I think like 40, 50 bucks. And so it's, this may just be worn out. Uh, it shouldn't be this since this is new manufacturer. Um, you got your settings here, you're, you're on, you're off, and then if you pull it out and twist it, it kicks on the IR illuminator, which does a pretty good job of lighting things up. Um, on uh, the rifles I use with, both of them have uh, Surefire Vampires, so that gives me a lot more light, but if you're running without that and you're just walking around with it, uh, the illuminator can come in handy. Just know that if someone else out there is running night vision as well on they can see that. So um, if you're in a position where you don't want to be seen, don't turn on your illuminator. But overall, I've been very happy with this. Uh, when I bought it, actually, uh, I bought it on a primary arms website. They only had one left in stock, and they had it on sale. I guess they were either closing it out or, you know, maybe not carrying the brand anymore. But uh, it is an, uh, it's an Elbit uh Thin film lens or tube, so it's a, it's a good quality tube. You know, maybe not as high end as the L3 Harris's, but it is a Gen 3, so it's it's good quality, and I've been very happy with it so far. Uh, no issues to to think of. Um, battery life's been good. I'm still running on the original battery, which means I haven't been using that too much. I've maybe only got a couple, you know, three or four hours through it because you you know. I haven't been using it for lengthy periods of time. I might go out and use it for 10, 15 minutes here and there. So, uh, you know, nothing too lengthy as of yet. But uh, so far, I've been very happy with it. Uh, keep, keep in mind, if you're running a, a helmet and you add a uh, night vision, you're going to want to probably put a counterweight on there of some kind. Uh, you know, it does add a little extra weight, but man, it makes a difference. You're not having to uh, kind of tilt your head back, uh, it's more comfortable wearing it that way.
All right, we'll take a look. I just kind of took it outside and uh, just kind of ran it around, uh, just looking at things, just to so get an idea what it looks like uh, when it's operating. Um, again, the unfortunately, the phone doesn't do the greatest job of representing its uh, image quality, but you get the idea. So anyway, for, uh, you know, a Gen 3 white phosphor, uh, under $3,000, it's, it's a really good deal. I know a lot of the other ones out there that are a little more expensive. They come with all the extra um, pieces and, you know, you've got spare parts and all that, which is great. But um, if you're wanting to try to get into it, the, you know, the highest quality for the least amount of money, I would definitely, definitely give Steel Industries a look. Um, you know, this is a very bare bones setup, but again... Um, it works for me and, you know, I can always get, uh, as I find, you know, get the other things I want. If I want other accessories, like, you know, want to get, uh, extra sacrificial lenses or whatever, I'll, I can go out there and I can find those online. So appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, um, and subscribe. I don't have too terribly many members right now, but I'm the subscribers. I'm really trying to get that number up. Uh, I'm going to try really cranking out a lot of uh, uh, contact, uh, content this year. Sorry about that. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to have to start doing blooper reels at the end of my videos or something because uh, I do get tongue-tied uh, every now and then, and today's definitely been one of those days for me.